Nick has a very, very bad cold, or he would never have forgotten to introduce our songbird. He will be greatly punished on the airplane tonight. <laughs> Needless to say. So I want to just tell you, spend a moment of your time more and tell you about the story of this, because I think it's important that you know. Um, so last year, we were all on our way to Dublin to start our European tour. We'd done 50 shows here, we were on our way to do Europe. And um, so I had gone a week earlier, and I was in Italy, and the phone rings in Italy. Ring, ring. I answer the phone, and it's Chris. Yeah. And she says, what did you think if I decided to come back to the band? <laughs> And, and of course I think she's kidding. I think, is that a joke? She goes like, no, I'm totally serious. And I said, well, Chris, it's your band, and if you want to come back to the band, I think you should just come on back. But here is what I think you should do. First of all, you should come to Dublin, and you should watch us do two shows, because this is a very long, difficult three-hour physical show and you should see it before you jump back in because if you come back you cannot ever leave again yes. so she said okay i'll be there so she came to the two shows and she was like i think in her head she was like oh she's right this is a hard long difficult physical show but i can do it and so i said and and you might want to get a train and do you know what she did she got a trainer. And she's been working out every day since February. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I'm so proud of her because she jumps back into this with both feet and she is stronger than all of us now and leading the pack, as you could see. And um, it has been like so amazing for us because for 16 years, the life of my little dog, she has been gone for her entire life, she has not be, been here. And we have, you know, wished every day, do you know, wish Chris would come back to the band, or maybe we should call Chris again and see if she's changed her mind. But she hadn't, and she didn't. And so, when this happened, it was like, I'm thinking, so why did this happen? What happened? And what I think is this. I think that one day in October, all the amazing Fleetwood Mac fans in the world got out of bed and said, I think it's time for Christine to come back to the band. And they threw it up into the universe, and it is said that the universe conspires to make things come true if you ask and if you throw it up there. And I think in that one crystal clear moment, Chris heard it. And she did just that. She came back, and now we have our dream girl back. We have her amazingly beautiful songs that we have missed so much over the last 16 years back. And I think it's all about you. I think it's because you have magical powers. So I just wanted you to know that. And from our hearts to yours, that we believe that in our hearts, that it's all your fault that this has happened. And we thank you for that. And you have been an awesome audience at Lada, you beautiful women. So take care, listen to music, dance as much as you can, sing at the top of your lungs, because that is what keeps you young, like me. Good night. We love you so much.